Hello, my name is Paul Shuhart, and today I would like to talk about Rushmore by Wes Anderson. Uh, Rushmore came out in 1998 um, and was co-written by Wes Anderson and Owen Wilson and directed by Wes Anderson. Uh, the film is uh, Wes Anderson's sophomore film. So this was his second film. He had uh, a lot of critical claimed for his first but not it wasn't very commercially successful so there was a lot writing on this and uh you could one could say that this film delivered and it delivered very well uh, uh many people would declare rushmore to be his magnum opus uh me included uh the the film is about a man a, a, a high schooler named max fisher who is attending on a scholarship, uh, a, a private school called Rushmore. Uh, there, he is uh, in part of a whole bunch of clubs and after-school programs that he kind of uh, leads or is uh, like a, a very active member in. Uh, he uh, is failing all his classes and is on the... Um, cusp of being expelled from the school he ends up meeting a first grade uh teacher named rosemary cross who he falls in love with but at the same time meets another uh older man <laughs> uh named herman who's a uh, uh herman blue who is a um a uh, uh parent there at uh, rushmore uh, this kind of ensues a, uh, a coming of age story, so there's betrayal and loss. Uh, not to get too deep into uh, the the plot, but uh, if I just to switch a little bit, uh, the the film uh, it, you is a uh, um, kind of brings like the first time we see Wes Anderson use his uh his like his film troupe so this is the first time bill murray is in one of his films and jason schwartz were two uh actors that are lit are very involved in his later photography um the the film itself is very much influenced by the french new wave just from the autobiography uh of, of the script but also the cinematography and the editing. The uh, editing, especially the uh, beginning montage, is very clearly uh, an homage to the quick, rapid uh, editing styles of uh, the French New Wave that we can see in, uh, uh, like, uh, Breathless, just to name an example. Uh, he also likes using... Uh, uh, very nice and still shots that are um, uh, that uh, are, are that uh, quickly. Uh, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, very clear tracking shots of a lot of his uh, his characters. Very rarely in the film, I think there's only maybe like two or three close ups of any. Uh, actors uh, each actor is ju they just bring a pow to the role uh, it's um, especially Bill, Bill Bill Murray he he was born to play this part uh, he, he is very cynical but the, there's something very charming about that and uh, it's very hard to explain what if uh, if I may uh, if I may uh, continue, uh, this the special effects in this film are one of the best uh, that I've seen uh, out of his whole work, uh, especially uh, towards the end and uh, the play uh, aspect, the uh, constant, um, uh, just actually the general aesthetic of the film is quite interesting. And also the... Um, the uh, plot, I would, or more theme, I would say, of a child attempting to become an adult and an adult attempting to be a child or be more childlike. It's very interesting to me that Wes Anderson 
and Owen Wilson are uh, very attracted to that. It's something that we see in a lot of their, uh, 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 at least Wes Anderson's uh, later photography. These uh, characters who who are trying to grow up too fast, but in their attempts uh, act out in childlike manners. It's uh, it's it's very interesting why he. Uh, I'm not really sure why he has done that, but uh, he does. Um, uh, another aspect of the film is uh, the use of colors. There is quite a lot of red and green in the film that uh, that we can see, and and blue, which uh, creates quite an interesting atmosphere into the piece. Uh, the, you um, you get the sense that this film is uh, is really another world that you've been uh, like transferred to. Um, if, if this, it's actually been, uh, accepted in 2016 to the Library of Congress. So if you, if you haven't seen this film, uh, Rushmore with Wes Anderson, do yourself a favor and go watch it. It is his, my favorite film of his, one of my favorite films, actually. Uh, I could probably go on for hours about what, just the things I love about this from, uh, the script to the editing choices that he, uh, that he made to the cinematography, uh, even to uh, just like very small details, um, such as uh, several insert shots that he has out of the film. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it is without a doubt a, uh, a masterpiece. And uh, thank you for uh, watching.